hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to bleach your knot and tint your lace so i'm starting off with a table which i put a trash bag over and here i'm showing you guys my bowl this is my mixing bowl and the little brush that i used to apply the bleach onto the lace here i am using the bw2 bleach from clairol and i also have my 30 developer also from clairol um these are the best two products to use to bleach your you're not and here I'm just taking a scoop of the um, BW2 bleach and I'm going to pour it into my mixing bowl and I'm also pouring a little bit of the developer I'm going I'm pouring a little at a time because you don't want to put too much because you want to make kind of like a paste you don't want it to be watery so here I'm just going to mix the bleach and the developer together. I'm also going to put a little bit more because it wasn't enough. And I'm just going to mix it up again to make sure that I mixed all the powder together. And here I'm showing you guys, you see that it is a paste, it is not watery because if it is watery, it's going to bleed through the lace and you don't want that. And here I'm using my Alley Pearl 5x5 closure. This is my first time trying a 5x5 closure. So this is hairspray. What I like to do is use hairspray to spray the baby hairs on the lace and I'm going to brush them back so that they're not in the way and I don't bleach any baby hairs in the process of bleaching my knots. And I'm just pushing them back and I'm showing you guys here that all the hairs are all pushed back now I'm going to start applying the bleach onto the lace I'm tapping it in very gently I'm not doing it too hard it probably looks like I'm doing it hard but I'm tapping it in very lightly because you don't want the bleach to bleed through the lace like I told you guys before And I'm just going to continue doing that. So after I have gotten all around the lace, I am going to stop. So here I'm just showing you guys what it looks like after I have been done. And I'm going to leave the bleach on the lace for 30 minutes. After the bleach has sat on for a while, I use my Shimmer Lights Shampoo, which is $6.99 at the Beauty Supply, to get rid of all the yellow tones. You can also use the Neutralizing Shampoo, which is like $1.99. This is a cheaper alternative, but I'm personally using my Shimmer Lights Shampoo. And here I'm just washing off all the bleach from the, the lace. Making, make sure that you've washed everything off and then I'm going to put my shimmer lights on there and spread it around the lace evenly. After I spread it around the lace evenly, I'm going to leave it on for 5 minutes. And now I'm washing it all off again. Here I'm using my Tresemme conditioner and shampoo to wash the hair to make sure that everything is all out of the hair and the hair is nice and freshly washed. So I'm taking the shampoo first and I'm going to shampoo the hair and then rinse it off. And then I'm taking my conditioner and I'm going to put that in the hair and then also rinse that off.
and here I'm just showing you guys how the hair looks after I've done you can see that it looks a lot more natural it looks more like scalp which is exactly what we want you see that there's not a lot of orange tone in the lace because we use the shimmer lights shampoo so next we are going to be tinting our lace I'm using my adore Sienna Brown and you guys can see that I forgot to show you guys how I mixed the water I literally just took a teaspoon of the adore Sienna Brown and I poured it into a bowl of hot water and here I'm just using a piece of lace to measure how much I need to use before I actually put the actual lace all in there and here you can see that I'm testing it out before I use the lace and now I'm putting my lace in there and I'm going to leave it in there for about five minutes and then after five minutes and put it on a t-shirt and I'm going to just pat it down and then here I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like after I've done that I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you learned make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be posting a how to make a wig for beginners video I hope you guys enjoyed this video bye guys